set out your goals for the year ahead. Very good to see you. What are those goals? Well, I share the, the good news from last year that uh, things like bed nets, uh, AIDS drugs, uh, better seeds for farmers are really having a, a big impact. You know, I get out to the field, I see that, the numbers are showing the results. But for next year, I, I share a concern that the choice we have of whether we keep the poor foremost in our mind and we're willing to spend both government and charitable money on their behalf uh, that could be lost as these economic issues uh, cause us to lose sight that there are people who are in even greater need. That is very true, particularly here in Britain. There's a bit of resistance to overseas aid and the, and the government giving money that a lot of people feel should be uh, spent here. Uh, you do that. How, how do you square that? How do you square that whole idea of overseas aid? How would you sell that to people? Well, I, it's important to understand the magnitude of it. Um, the UK is being incredibly generous in this area. It's about 2% of the government budget, uh, well under uh, 1%, going up to 0.7% of the, of the economy. And that many makes a huge difference. I think that's another thing that, that's important to be up to date on is that aid is now measured pound for pound by the impact it can have. It's not about buying friendship. Uh, the amount uh, that used to go on corruption was high, and now there's ways of tracking this, making sure it's getting down to the people who need it. Uh, and so that's why I'm giving my money. You know, I'm very careful about that. I wouldn't uh, do it any other way. But I, I feel like the, the impact is there, and uh, we partner uh, with people like the UK government. Uh, they've been a, an excellent partner. Yeah. What was this light bulb moment for you? When, when did you wake up? You're successful on so many fronts, but when did you just wake up and say, I think I am going to give it all away? 95% of your personal wealth, uh, as I understand it, you've pledged to give away. Well, I think there's two keys to why uh, my wife and I are doing that. The first is we decided that it wouldn't be good for our children to have them born with uh, expecting large wealth. You know, we want them to make their own career, make their own their own way, just like like we had a, a chance to do. Once we thought of it that way, we wanted to find some way to give the money back to society. And so we were stunned to find that in areas like a malaria vaccine or uh, AIDS vaccine, that very little money was being spent. And so the kind of skill that I developed in backing scientists at Microsoft and believing in new technology uh, could be applied uh, here to come up with the things that those most in need uh, uh, would benefit from. And, and so it's my second career. And you know, I'm loving the work. I you know, get to meet great scientists. And we're making real progress. So the, the key is that we not let the economic turbulence uh, uh, focus to forget that some people don't have enough food to eat every day. Yeah.